welcome dear friends uh, today we will discuss about the another problem of root locus if you have not watched the previous video which is the basic video of root locus so go through so that you will have some clear image about the root locus over here okay so it is a uh, check whether s is equal to minus 0.75 lies on root locus for g of s h of s is equal to k upon s into s plus 2 s plus 4 you have to check uh, this s value minus 0.75 does it lies on the root locus or not so let me tell you this is the first magnitude condition as in the uh, previous video i have told you about the magnitude magnitude condition that is uh, modulus of g of s h of s is equal to 1 now you have to use it so g of s h of s modulus is equal to 1 always equal to 1 now g of s h of s is given that is k divided by s s plus 2 s plus 4 so it will be modulus of k upon modulus of this s value is minus 0 0.75 so minus 0 0.75 then minus 0 0.75 plus 2 minus 0 0.75 plus 2 modulus modulus of s minus 0 0.75 plus 4 like that okay so it will modulus of k is always k modulus of negative number is always positive so 0 0.75 2 minus 0 0.75 is nothing but 1.25 and uh, 4 minus 0 0.75 is nothing but 3.25 which is equal to 1 over here you have to uh, what we call as compare it with 1 just because magnitude condition already equal to 1 over here then k is equal to if you just multiply these terms uh, multiply it with 1 you will get k is equal to 0 0.3.0468 this is the k value for the magnitude condition now if i take angle condition right angle condition is angle g of s h of s already in the previous video i had discussed about it angle of g of s h of s is equal to plus minus 2 q plus 1 into 180 right so plus minus 2 q plus 1 into 180 q running from 0 1 2 3 up to infinity so angle of g of s h of s is given so it is k divided by s plus 2 s plus 4 already we have calculated the k value that is 3.0468 over here right so k is equal to 3.0468 so angle of this divided by angle of this term that is s into s plus 2 s plus 4 so you have to take here the value 0 0.75 already here that is uh, next is s plus 2 that is 1.25 when you just minus uh, 0 0.75 plus 2 so you will get 1 uh, 1.25 angle of 3.5 i hope you are getting i have calculated here 0 0.75 1.25 3.25 okay <clears throat> so that is uh, angle condition is equal to angle of uh, but uh, you should remember that you have to add imaginary part also just because we are dealing with a complex uh, pole or uh, s plane over here complex plane or s plane so 3.047 uh, plus 0 j you have to add to each and uh, every term wherever you will find s so angle of 0 0.75 plus 0 j 1.25 plus 0 j uh, uh, 3.25 plus 0 j you have to add imaginary parts also right now you have to calculate this in the scientific calculator let me show you how to calculate uh, this uh, rectangular form into polar form so if you are using this uh, 991 ex kelsey so simply write down the equation that is 3.047 right plus 0 j 0 inch button you have to put here that is i i or j whatever you will take so then this option you have to go option then you will get here r angle theta that is 1 okay so just equal to so equal to you are getting here magnitude so only magnitude here angle is nothing here okay so i am writing here angle is 0 so in the next part you will better understand in the kelsey also so next is this equation okay here the angle is 0 no need to mention so next one is minus 0 0.75 plus uh, 0 j okay 0 times edge button option then one real part equal to 3 by 4 is magnitude uh, angle is 180 degree i hope now you are understanding this concept that is 180 degree i have written here okay same you have to go through 1.25 plus 0 j then option button then 1 is equal to 5 by 4 only magnitude so angle is 0 that is why angle is 0 here next <clears throat> Uh, next is a uh, 3.25 plus 0 j uh, option 1 equal to 13 by 4 only magnitude so that is why i have taken angle here 0 right now in order to calculate the angle condition so this uh, in the numerator part 
uh, always the angles are positive so zero is positive whenever the in the denominator angles will be negative while by summing these terms so minus 180 i have to do these all terms will be negative minus 180 minus zero minus zero yes because the terms in present in the denominator you have to take negative and uh, uh, the angle is present on the numerator in the numerator you have to take positive so positive value negative value and you will get minus 180 degree as angle so you are getting in the angle condition as odd multiple of 180 as in the previous video i have mentioned this you should get odd multiples of 180 then only the angle condition is satisfied so here i am getting minus 180 so it satisfies the equation that is s is equal to minus 0 0.75 lies on the root locus just because it is satisfying the odd multiples of 180 degree angle over here so this is the another problem this is simpler one this will not come in the uh, man examination maybe uh, the next problems which we will discuss they will definitely appear in the vt examination so next in the next video i will take this important problem as far as vt examination is concerned so g of s h of s is equal to k upon s plus 3 s plus 5 we will discuss in the another video thank you for watching my video